Hey, uh, welcome to our after show. Today we have a special guest on the phone, and it's uh, Roy Underwood. Now, Roy, people can't see you, but are you wearing your Hudson Valley Renegades hat? <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not right now. It's, it's up on the hook. Okay. <laughs> and uh, Kimberly, uh, uh, Kimberly, what are you wearing? Oh, I'm, I'm wearing what I always have to wear in the studio, which is I've got a hoodie with the hoodie actually over my head, and I usually tie it because it's freezing in here, Roy. Okay. <laughs> All right, so now, Roy, you uh, have gained some notoriety, and we have this up on our website. Mm -hmm. You are the guy that was down. Was it a Yankee game or a Mets game? I don't remember now. Uh, it was a Yankees-Tampa Bay Rays game. Yankee-Tampa oh. Bay Rays game. You had good seats down there at Yankee Stadium, right? Yes. And a foul ball came by, and you reached out onto the field and caught it. Am I correct there? Yes. Actually, that was the first of two foul balls that I caught. Oh. Two in one game? Yes. That's <laughs> being a little greedy, isn't it, Ron? Yeah, a little bit. But, I had, you know, I had my son with me. His uncle promised him that we were getting a foul ball that day. Okay. So, uh... The first one I grabbed in the third inning and gave it to him, and the second one it was just a reaction. Right. Oh, so you were wearing a Renegades hat though during this game, right? Yes, actually, we're. Uh, I live in Marlboro, and we're a host family for the Hudson Valley Renegades. Mm -hmm. So one of their players, actually, he's in the All Star game tonight. Travis Hot lives at my house during the season. That's cool. How cool. And the Renegades are the farm team for the Tampa Bay Rays, and the Yankees happen to be playing the Tampa Bay Rays. Yes. That's cool. That. Wait a minute. I have to stop here. Right. Kimberly actually knew something about sports? <laughs> My <laughs> God. <laughs> this has never happened before, Roy. You have no idea. Hey, this is the first time for everything, right? Right. So now tell us what you reached out onto the field, basically, so you interfered with a play, didn't you, to catch one of these balls? Now, that's the umpire's take on it. Yeah. <laughs> MLB.com has a video, and you can see I'm showing the security guy that I reached straight up. Right, uh -huh. but during the game, you were called, was it called for fan interference? Yes, it was. Okay. The, so the now call was made, it got delayed, um, but after the call was made, they asked me to leave. There was a call made from Brian Cashman to have my son go to his office, and the first thing Mr. Cashman said was they made the wrong call. Now, Brian Cashman is, uh, what is he, like the king of the Yankees? What's his deal? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's the GM of the Yankees. He's like the big guy. So, he has the big kahuna. So you uh, interfered with the play. Mm -hmm. uh, you were escorted outside the stadium and beaten silly. Am I correct <laughs> on that? Yes, I was dragged up the steps. No, but, no, they, were, they were pretty nice about it. it. It's actually not a Yankees rule. It's an MLB rule. Right, oh. yeah. No, so it's, it's the they major league. no call on it. Right, no, not the Yankees. No, that's the rule. You can't interfere with the play. Oh, I uh, and so because you did that, and uh, at, the Yankees enjoyed the fact that you did that, so they brought you right to the front office, and you guys had snacks and all kinds of good stuff. Is that what happened? <laughs> Actually, no, I was escorted outside of gate two, and my son got three bullet benefits. They actually escorted my son up to his office, and he gave him a bunch of gifts and signed balls. And wow. It was, it was an experience for him. Roy, that is actually really cool. Like, what a, what a neat day this turned out to be. Yeah, I mean, it was awesome. It was all about him. We actually were on a, a bus trip for hospice. Oh, oh that's, so that's nice. So it was nice. a benefit trip for them, and we went down, and... Ended up turning out probably the best game we'll ever go to. <laughs> that wow. so neat. Well, now, wait, I just want to know, when you caught the ball, oh, I got cold. When you caught the ball, did you have a baseball mitt? No, they oh. were, both the foul balls were caught with bare hands. Whoa, you, whoa. That, right. You're a tough guy. So pretty That's, good. So yeah. now you have both of the balls, right? Absolutely. Did they, did they autograph them for you? Did anybody autograph them? No, uh, I, there really wasn't a chance. Once it happened, we were uh, escorted out. Mm -hmm. And uh, but the cool part was on the escort out, I ended up getting my first standing ovation at Yankee Stadium. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, so All right, Roy. Right, well, hey, that's a great story. Uh, if people want to check out the whole deal, we have it up on our website at mix97fm.com. And uh, you're doing some cool stuff. You know, you're hosting one of the Renegades guys for the summer. So yeah. we appreciate you taking a few minutes out to talk to us, Roy. Yeah, 